I'm Pamela Crawford, and I want to share an adventure with you that has been quite exciting for me. I got a call one day from Garden Smart TV. We did some talking and decided to do an episode here on container color in the garden, which is my very favorite subject. I got I called Pacific Home and Garden and asked if they would help. They are a major pottery importer. They import Chinese pottery into the U.S. They were nice enough to send me a driveway full of bright colored pots. I felt like the child who has the full box of crayons and just kept playing with, with them and playing with them. I do believe that container color, the color of the containers themselves, is as important as the flowers that you're putting in these containers. I started out this grouping in the center with this particular lime green pot, the one that has the tallest ball on the top of it, and I surrounded it with cobalt blue pots, really liked that, then added on either side this selection of lime pots with aqua pots around them. You can see how the three of them really tie in well together. Those three posts coming out of the pots are called basket column kits. Those are made, and thank you very much, too, to kinsmangarden.com for providing me with these. They provide the vertical accents, the up and down. Imagine this grouping for a minute without those big balls on top, and you'll get the idea of the importance of putting something at the top of your grouping as opposed to on either side. As we pan over to the left, I put this white bench, I just like some variety and I think a bench provides that, and put a grouping of lime, green, and aqua pots here on top of an outdoor rug. And I use obelisks, those are the uprights that you see here in lime green and aqua to coordinate with the pots. I have peppers in the pots, I have the herbs that go with peppers planted around those. I combine vegetables and herbs in my flower garden because I don't like looking at vegetables by themselves too much. I want them to be able to coordinate with the flowers that I have. I have throughout this grouping, see the little spiky flowers that are everywhere? That's called celosia, and I use those because I think they really unified the grouping. Um, I like the idea of repeating. We have an awful lot going on here, and I think without that repetition, everything might have looked like a great big muddle. And here we have the most unexpected thing for me. Purple pots arrived in my crayon box, and I looked at them and said, what on earth am I going to do with those? But luckily, I, I was able to play with them and absolutely love the way they look with the lime green pot. And notice that I have that dark, dark coleus. That came from Proven Winners. And look how nice that coordinates with the purple pots underneath it. This just goes to show sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen unless you try it. Here, once again, my vegetable gardens that's mixed in with my flowers. This is a tomato in a big blue pot. I have it with a yellow obelisk that was painted to match the yellow pots beneath it. The yellow pots have basil and parsley in it. Basil and parsley really combine very well with tomatoes. The end of the grouping is my garage window that I absolutely love. Once again, the basket column kits. We put them with two of the Pacific Home and Garden green pots and then put a window box in the middle. This is another one of the side planting collection from kinsmangarden.com. So I'd like to thank everyone who helped me with this and I hope all of you have a great day gardening. Thank you. Bye-bye.